Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks, and today we're going to continue talking about ClickFunnels 2.0, and we're going to answer the question of what is a REM. You're going to see the term REM in a lot of places. Let me show you a couple of them right now real quick. We're going to go into our style guide, and we'll just pick any old style guide. It doesn't matter. They all have the same thing in there, and REM is a unit of measurement. And we're going to go to our fonts and let's just open up a headline font. And you're going to see right here, you got 90 pixels and you have, that's the equivalent of five rem. And you're saying to yourself, okay, what's a rem? Up here, we're setting our letter spacing in rems. And then if we come over to a headline element I have open here, we also have the option of having rem or pixels right here. And so a lot of people want to know what are rems, especially because in this case here, it automatically defaults to rem. And so how can we use this to our advantage? And what a rem is, is first off, we should really start off with what is an M. And an M also is a unit of measurement inside of any kind of CSS. Like you saw, we also had pixels, we got percentages, there are other ones that can be used as well. But where it comes from, it's actually a very old term, and it comes from the old days of typography, back when you used to have, you know, think of Gutenberg and his printing press, and you got a bunch of blocks of wood with letters and numbers carved into them, and you line them all up next to each other, and you put Push the, push the paper down onto it, and that's how they used to print things back in the old days. Well, generally speaking, the letter M in any font set is going to be the widest letter of all of them combined, and so you're going to have um, M being the widest, so they designate the letter M as being a width of 1, and then every other letter would be some percentage of that width of one. So if an M is one, maybe an S might be 0.85. Maybe a T might be 0.7. And so it's always a percentage of the M. Now with today's typography and, and things like that, and especially with other languages, you know, things like Chinese and whatnot, um, they clearly don't have the letter M, but it has been a unit of measurement that has stuck around forever. So an M then is a percentage of something else. And so let's go to our 1.0 site right here because this is the best place to be able to show you where it's available. And right here we have a paragraph element and let's open this up and we'll go to advanced. And right here we have our letter spacing. Oh, that's the wrong one here. I want a letter height, line height right here is we have our different uh, choices here and they are all in M's. So if we say that we want this to be 1M, generally speaking, 1M would mean we want it to be 1 times the height, so the line height will be 1 times the height of the elements bounding elements font size. So in this case here, we're in this um, headline element right here. So technically, the way CSS normally works is we would have, if we set this to one right now, if we set this to one, we would have to look at the element that it is its parent, and we'd have to look at the font size of this, and then multiply that times one. But how they did it in ClickFunnels is actually, it goes off of the font size of the element itself, not off of its parent element. So in this case here, I have our font size set to 20 pixels. And if we come over here to the right, we see our font size of 20 pixels, and we got our line height of 1M, and then what that computes then over here is our line height of 20 pixels. So it's just one times 20 gives us our line height. And so then we can come over here and we can say 1.5. And you see here it changed to 1.5. And down here it changed line height to 30 right there. So it's a simple multiplier of what it is. So in an M, just a EM, not with the R in front of it, just an EM, then it is a multiplier of either the font size of the element or the font size of the element's parent element, okay? So now we are, have to go to what is a rem, and a rem is based upon the root 
elements font size. Now again, let's go back to um, our uh, our 1.0 here. And so now what rem is then is it is your root m. So it's a multiplier based upon the font size of the root element on the page. And in HTML, the root element is always considered to be the HTML element, the entire wrapper of your page. And so we click on this here and we look at what our HTML is here. We would come down and let's see what we have here for a font size set right here. So in 1.0, the root font size is set to 10 pixels. So if we said something was going to be one rem, one root m, or one times root m, then it would be 10 pixels. If it's 1.5 times root m, rem, then we would have 15 pixels. So inside of 2.0, you have the ability to set your root font size. In 1.0, you cannot change that. In 2.0, you can change that. So let's come back over here and let's go back to our fonts right here. And so let's see, you know, so you come in where, however, there's like a dozen ways you can get into your, into your style guide here, but then we're going to go to fonts and then right up here is where you set your, it says your base font size. They really should say your root font size. And in this case here, it is set to 18 pixels for, uh, for a desktop. So if we come into our Roboto here and we say, okay, we want it to be 90 pixels. Well, it says right over here in small print, five rem. So that is five times 18 gives us our 90 pixels. Now, the best way and the simplest way to handle this is to change what your root, si root size is. But let's go into an element first. So we're going to come over here and we're looking at this headline element right here. And so we're going to say, in this case here, it is 5.41 rem. Well, again, so that means 5.41 times 18, which is 90 and another 494 or whatever, about 95, 96, something like that. Well, we can see what it is in pixels by you click on this, you change it to pixels, and now it'll change it to 54 pixels. I think I said 90, I was way off on that. So it'd be 54, 54 pixels, and then we can change this back to rem. So again, you're looking at this and you're going, okay, what does this 5.4 mean? And what I just realized is I'm actually in a different style guide because in this style guide, I've already set up. So let me show you what I set up in here because my calculation in my head would have been much closer to the answer. But here's what I did in this style guide. And you know, each style guide you can set up differently. In this style guide, I set all of these to 10. So I set the root font size for desktop and the root font size for mobile. I set those both to 10 pixels. So now when we come in here, and we set our font sizes, then we have here 72 pixels equals 7.2 rem. 42, 4.2 rem. So it's 4.2 times 10, whereas over here, we were multiplying it by 18. And so that makes it a lot more difficult to do in your head on the fly. But now when you come into, where's the page we had open? Oh, that's right, let me... Let me get out of the style guide here. So now when we look at this, because I set the root font size to 10, we know that 5.4 rem is equal to 54 pixels. So when you come in here, instead of every time having to go in here, okay, we're going to change this to pixels and all that, just set your root font size to 10 and then you will always know, you'll always have that number right there in front of you, 5.4, boom, I know that is 54 pixels tall. And again, so all you have to do here is just slide this down. We'll just put that one at 10. Then we can come into our Roboto, and here we got our 50 pixels equals five rem. So that's what it is. A rem, an REM, is a root M, which is nothing more than a multiplier of your root font size, and you set that right here inside of your style guide. So if you got any questions, just let me know.